strategic forecasting, Incorporated. A euro known as Strat for a Euro is an American publisher and global intelligence company founded in 1996 in Austin, Texas, by George Friedman, who was the company's chairman. Shea Morans is president and chief executive officer. Fred Burton is Stratfor's vice president of intelligence. Other executives include chief operating officer Mark Ozdarsky, a retired Navy SEAL officer who also has worked as an investment portfolio manager. Former U.S. Special Operations Command Officer Brett Boyd, Vice President of Custom Intelligence Services. And Editor-in-Chief David Judson. Products, Stratfor bills itself as a geopolitical intelligence and consulting firm, with revenues derived from subscriptions to its website and from corporate clients. On the consulting side, the company says it helps clients to identify opportunities, make strategic decisions, and manage political and security risks. Stratfa has published a daily intelligence briefing since its inception in 1996. Its rise to prominence occurred with the release of its Kosovo Crisis Center during the 1999 NATO airstrikes over Kosovo, which led to publicity in Time magazine, Texas Monthly, and other publications. Before the end of 1999, however, Stratfor had introduced a subscription service through which it offered the majority of its analyses. At the time of the September 11, 2001 attacks, Stratfor made its breaking news paragraphs, as well as some notable analyses predicting likely actions to be taken by al-Qaeda and the Bush administration, available freely to the public. Stratfor's publishing business includes written and multimedia analysis and an iPhone application. A monthly publication called Compass was launched in June 2014, adding a third tier to the company's subscription business model. In a public announcement, the company said Compass is designed specifically for global executives in strategic industries such as energy, trade, finance, and technology. In addition to publishing and consulting work, Stratfor also makes the analysts available for public speaking engagements. Some of Stratfor's work remains available free to the public. Books and media, Stratfor has published collections of analysis on a variety of topics into paperback books. Topics include user guides to personal security, the devolution of jihadism, and the U.S. war in Afghanistan, according to a series of promotional videos on the company's YouTube channel. Apparently, at one point, the books were sold through a storefront on the company's website, which is no longer active. A number of the company's top analysts have published books in their own name. Notable among these are founder George Friedman and Vice President for Intelligence Fred Burton. Kamran Bokhari, Stratfor's Vice President for Middle East and South Asian Affairs, is the author of Political Islam in the Age of Democratization. Reviewer Armani El Surawi called the book an invaluable tool for those seeking to gain knowledge of the nuances of the political systems of the Muslim world from a historical perspective, as well as to understand the contemporary changes happening in the region. Stratfor has been cited by media such as the Associated Press, BBC, Bloomberg, CNN, Reuters, and the New York Times as an authority on strategic and tactical intelligence issues. Barron's once referred to it as the shadow CIA. Barron's Jonathan Lyon has called Friedman one of our favorite experts on geopolitics, saying, his judgments tend to be more nuanced and long-term than those of the press or Wall Street. More recently, The Atlantic's James Fallows referenced a Stratfor article on U.S. strategy in Iraq and Ukraine, following outbreaks of turmoil in those regions. Subscribers the subscribers list for Stratfor was confidential and the company's publicity list includes Fortune 500 companies and international government agencies. The hacker groups Anonymous and Lultzek claim to have made it public on December 24, 2011 as part of Operation Antisec. Stratfor denied that the hack recovered the client list, however, instead Stratfor claimed that the group recovered only a list of new subscriptions. Funding in October 2015, Stratfor raises $12 million in funding through a growth equity investment by Dallas-based Teakwood Capital. Stratfor's plan for the funding includes expanding its intelligence networks, enhancing operational infrastructure and moving into frontier markets. Incidents 
equals 2011 hacking incident equals it was reported on December 24, 2011 that members of Anonymous had stolen email messages and credit card data from Stratfor's website. According to the one page that remained published at Stratfor's website, its status was reported as site is currently undergoing maintenance, please check back soon. The hackers claimed to have retrieved the company's client list and used stolen credit card information to make donations to various charities exceeding $1 million. The hackers also claimed to have retrieved more than 200 gigabytes of data, and stated that Stratfor was clueless. When it comes to database security, the credit card data was in plain text, and many of the passwords were simply the name of the company. The failure to encrypt the card data was called an embarrassing mistake for a company specializing in security by Zoe Fox of CNN. The list of the leaked accounts has been made available online for users to check if they are affected. Stratfor advised employees and clients not to state support for their company publicly, fearing additional attacks against those who did so. The group initially posted three sets of stolen credit card data, one containing 3,956 items and the other 13,191 items. Next, they posted a set of more than 30,000 items. The hackers said they used the credit card data to make donations to various charities including Care, the Red Cross, and Save the Children. In November 2013, computer hacker Jeremy Hammond was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for his role in the anonymous attack. An FBI informant, Hector Xavier Monzigal, initially faced 124 years in prison for his role in the attack, but his sentence was reduced to time served plus one year supervised release in May 2014. Equals 2012 League equals WikiLeaks announced the initial publication of more than 5 million of Stratfor's email messages on February 26, 2012. Anonymous claimed to have provided WikiLeaks with the data. George Friedman stated that third parties may have forged or altered the email messages, but that Stratfor would not validate either alterations or authenticity. Stratfor condemned the release as deplorable. Journalist Amy Goodman, writing in The Guardian, referred to the first published leaks of Stratfor material as peering into an intelligence industrial complex. References Further reading, Friedman, George. America's Secret War, Inside the Hidden Worldwide Struggle Between the United States and Its Enemies. Random House. ISBN 978-0-7679-1785-8. Friedman, George. Torture and the U.S. Intelligence Failure, Stratfor, Geopolitical Weekly, April 20, 2009. External links, Official Website, Stratfor, Inside the World of a Private CIA, WikiLeaks Goes Inside Corporate America's Wannabe CIA, Stratfor Monitors and Studies Social Movements, THTH Micron TH three quarters THTH three quarters THTH NTH NTH Micron NTH TH TH Micron TH N Euro TH three quarters TH cube TH one half TH three quarters TH N a Stratfora TH TH three quarters TH TH three quarters N N TH TH Frederick Burton Stratfor VP for racist slurs Al A K H B A R English